Hello, um, it's me again. Uh, this is the second in our series of Microsoft Project for Primavera P6 users. Today we're going to look at how to replicate activity codes from Primavera P6 in Microsoft Project. Activity codes are useful for grouping activities and also for you can use them for filtering and that flexibility it's um, it's very useful as WBS when you use WBS for grouping like I've done so it's 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 very rigid so I can show you in this P6 shadow I've got um, got an activity code defined for hide I used to hide certain activities in the shadow that I don't want to show to to you to recipients of my shadow and I've got another one called team location so I just defined four locations to show where the uh, members of the team are based um, if I, so these codes have been assigned to activities in the shadow if I display them you can see assigned so with this we can group by team location filter out um, okay. I create a new filter to call it high that hide activity where hide It's not equal to yes because um, I want to hide those activity. If I apply, they've been hidden. If I uncheck, you can see they're back displayed. So I want to be able to do this in Microsoft Project. Luckily, Microsoft Project comes with um with custom fields which you can use to replicate Primavera P6 activity IDs, um, user defined fields, and to a certain extent global change. So for this to for this I'm going to use two sets of custom fields a text custom field and a flag custom field. A text custom field is good for when you need you have multiple values, more than two values and you can group with that you can filter with that and a flag custom field is good when you only have two values a yes or no or true or false and my hide is a yes or no field so i, I, need, I can use a flag there but this is for the team location it's got four values so i need a text custom field so, so that add a new add two two fields Add text one. Well, this text one is in use. That's what we use for activity ID. So I use text two and flag one. Flag one. Let's see, that comes. Let's see. So like I said, it's a yes or no field. So you can see it has a yes or no. So I need to format um, this field. So I go to format custom field rename we name this team location so we name text to team location and to assign values to to a code in Microsoft project under custom attributes you click look up so here I'll enter my values so I've got United UK United Kingdom US United States CN that will be Canada Canada and OM will be for Oman close okay now for flag under the type I come to flag type I look for flag flag one I rename hide that's all I need to do here the other ways of renaming anyway you can 
on the field setting. So with this, I click OK. And now, um, let me hide, the, choose the, the, the activities I want to hide. So I want to hide this milestone, this milestone. You can drag, drag down in Microsoft Project. It's same as um, fill down in Primavera P6. So for this, I'll assign these values. Give you key for that. Make this Canada. This assign US. Um, UK again. Make this Canada. Oman. And then the last ones, Oman again. Okay, so we've done with assigning all the flags and the values. So, so first, I'll show you how to use a filter to hide this. So for filter, you come to View, Filter, New Filter. So the new filter, I want to hide activities. Yep, hide activities, and then the, it will be hide. Does not equal to yes. That's what we want to do. Um, when you when you create new filters, make sure you. Or my advice would be to tick the show in menu checkbox so that it always appears. So. As and save this and then see it's it appears because I because the saving menu was was ticked it appears now in the menu so I can pick this you see those activities have been hidden if I say no filter they're back so you see so that's how you use activity uh, activity code apply filters to your activity codes okay for grouping, we've assigned them. So same place, view, group by, pick new group by, show in menu stick. So I'll say team location. So just team location here. Yep. So save again come you see it's the team location pick it up as you can see the group by by team location so that's a simple way to apply um, activity codes in Microsoft project and I hope I uh, hope you find this useful. If you have any questions on how to replicate anything from Primavera P6 in Microsoft Project, just give us a shout. Take care. I'll see you again next week. Mm -hmm.